I don't understand United fans when they say they back their team, they want to see them win, which I understand. A lot of them don't like the manager. A lot of them want Ten Hag out. A lot of them want some players out. Hell, I've even heard people say they want Rashford gone, sold, sell him because of his lack of attitude and application. And Ten Hag has been defensive of him. I just watched a little bit of the United stand with Mark Goldbridge talking about how Ten Hag says he, he wants to back Rashford. But you know, where was that same energy for Jadon Sancho and all that? I mean, you want to pick your favorites, make of that what you will. Being a graduate of the academy, Mancurian and all that sort of stuff, that Marcus Rashford. But my thing is, you know your team is not great. You know your team is not performing. And yet you still get annoyed when you lose. If you know your team is not good, if you know you're not going to win the game, why are you upset and angry when you lose? Just lie down and accept it. But of course, as a football fan, you want to see your team win. I understand all that. And even though you know that's the reality, still you say to yourself, you know what, I'm having hopes every single week, but it's just not working for me. And I think a lot of people, the penny has dropped for a lot of United fans from what I can see. I mean, just going through the the YouTube, just going to search Ten Hag out. A couple of the most recent ones here, you can see it says we've got here, I'm officially Ten Hag out. That's from United View. Uh, Terry from Football Terrace wants Ten Hag gone. Uh, the emergency talk from Saeed's channel, he had a big rant as well about Ten Hag and the players. There you go, there's a live stream happening right now. It's tactics, it's attitude, it's players not adapting themselves, it's players not applying themselves, the manager's getting it all wrong. Andy Tate as well, classic Andy Tate. He wants to sell all of them, like absolutely nothing doing at all. Paul Scholes was very critical of that performance from Manchester United. Uh, there was also another one here, uh, yeah, Flex saying a pathetic performance. There's a little bit of a clip here from uh, Football Terrace doing some bits and pieces. Uh, it was here. Yeah, there was another one that I saw. There you go, Ten Hag to blame from the United stand. So there's a lot of things that are happening that a lot of a lot of fans now are saying to themselves, okay, yeah, it's it's time to to go now. In in the famous words of of the late Claude, it's time to go. A lot of United fans don't like Ten Hag, but again, my point is, if you know your team is crap, if you know your team is not performing well, how are you still annoyed and disappointed and have all this anger when you sort of know what to expect? It's like you expect to lose or you expect to be bad and then when you are and you do lose because you are bad you get angry about it i understand you want to improve and you want to do all that i get that but it's not like one week you're winning one week you're losing one week you're winning one week you're losing it's more like three four weeks you're losing one week you're winning three four weeks you're losing one week you're gonna draw snatch a win another three losses it's more losses than wins it's more negativity than positivity so I don't know how you are still surprised when you end up losing these games. That's my thing. Like, obviously, as a Liverpool fan, I couldn't actually give two shits where you are success-wise, if you will, because of the history. But as a football fan, objectively, yeah, your team and your club is just not moving anywhere positive at all. You're sort of like stuck in the middle somewhere, even just floating down. And in the Premier League, at least, you've won or lost. There's no draws in the Premier League. It's wild. Absolutely wild to me. But that's where it is at the moment. So United fans, I don't know if you come across this, you're upset when you lose, but you know that your team is not great. So why are you upset when the inevitable happens? Um, Maybe it's the football fan in us. We just want the best. Some of them have accepted it and say, yeah, you know what it is, what it is. Like rants. He's like, yeah, cool. We're, we're crap. I mean, what do you expect? Ten Hag needs to go, the players are trash, etc, etc. And then the other players like Goldbridge raging it. Saeed acknowledges that the team is crap and they're not so good. Still has hope, still has the passion in there, still has the maybe we'll get a win here. And when they don't, and it's the manner in how they don't. And also in the famous words of Saeed, uh, when you must, you didn't must, or the curtain's on the wall. The curtain very much is on the wall for Ten Hag right now. And a lot of fans, I think, are finally saying, you know what, there's nothing else we can do here. But what else do they do? Do they sack, move on with a new manager, players coming and going again, starting the cycle all over again? It's a tough one for United fans. And I've been keeping my eyes and ears on some fan channel debates, United fan channels and just football panels overall. Some reasonable, nuanced takes, some extreme ones and some delusional ones. But at the end of the day, we all have our opinions and opinions are, as they say, like assholes. Everybody's got one. And this was my one.